So here we have a simple Arduino project and now we want to install some new boards so they appear in the boards list. So if we just go to the Visual Micro Explorer, also available here on the toolbar, and then we go to the Manage Boards tab, we'll see a list of platforms that are immediately available and the greyed out ones are already installed on my machine. And then if you expand the board support package auto discovery, this is the list of packages that have been auto discovered and you can update these with check for updates. And we're looking for an Adafruit package here. So if we just click the Adafruit manufacturer, this will then add the platforms to our list so we can choose which Adafruit platform we want to add. So here we can now see the number of Adafruit platforms. So you can expand each one if you want to install the specific version. And you can expand those versions to see the boards within. Or if you just click on the package itself, it will install the latest for you automatically. Obviously, sped that up a bit. Once that's installed and you've said OK to any driver prompts, you should now see that it's it's greyed out to show that it's been installed and it will be in your list of installed platforms as you see here. If you hover over them additional information will appear at the bottom and you can also see any updates which are available. So if you left click these it will install those for you as well. And just to note if you do have a particular JSON URL you can add it into this box here in a similar way is in the Arduino IDE and a list of supported URLs is available from the link at the bottom. Just add a comma and then paste in the additional URL you want, press OK and then refresh the board manager and you'll see the additional platforms available. So we do need to restart the IDE or rescan the tool chains. We're just going to restart the whole IDE as it's the simplest and we can also quickly just show in Arduino the additional board manager URL in the, the same format as in Visual Micro can be added here. Now if you put them in the Arduino IDE they'll be inherited by Visual Micro. So if you use both IDEs it's recommended that you put them in the Arduino IDE and Visual Micro will automatically detect those from there so you won't need to put them in both places. So now we've <coughs> restarted the IDE just loading our sketch again, we should see the new boards available in the boards list. So we can select them and start programming. And Visual Micro is loaded, all the toolbars have appeared. If we drop down the boards list, we can see I've got a lot of boards installed on my machine. Oh, no, they're, they're the Arduino ones. So if we carry on down to the Adafruit NRF52 boards, which I installed, here they are. So we, we can see it's the same version of the package that we installed, and we can select a board and start building and uploading our code as normal. You can also, if you're having trouble finding it in the list, just go to find or install a board or load the Visual Micro Explorer, go to the install tab and you can simply search for the board name. So it will show you platforms and libraries available as well as the boards. And if you just click on the board there, it'll add it for you. So. We'll load the UNO, there we go, we've selected the UNO. So you don't have to hunt around in the list all the time to find the board that you're after. And that's it.